Hey everybody, we are back with another review, and today we got a deluxe comic moment to check out. We got Venom vs. Spider-Man, so without further ado, let's hop right into this review. Today we are checking out the PX Previews exclusive Venom vs. Spider-Man comic moment right here. This is from Spider-Man number 316, which is pretty sweet actually. It's the, uh, the return, I guess you could say, of Venom, which... Um, it's pretty dope. This is uh, actually drawn by Todd McFarlane, so it's pretty, it's pretty sweet to get a Todd McFarlane pop without getting Spawn, I guess. But it would be nice to get Spawn. That would be pretty dope. I don't know how come we haven't gotten Spawn yet. Maybe they don't have the license for it or not. But they clearly got some kind of a license to do a McFarlane piece. So here we are. <laughs> so we got Venom vs. Spider Man right here. This is a super super sick deluxe pop. We're gonna pop them out and check it out as well. Now it is not the first appearance of Venom. Uh, I believe first appearance was in number 300, which, here we go, 47,377 Marvel Venom vs. Spider-Man comic moment, no C1. Um, now, I believe it was in number 300 when the, the black suit found a new host. Here is the backdrop, which is super sweet because this is the exact cover backdrop for issue 316. So, yeah, I mean, sometimes Funko really nails it, and this is definitely one of those times. So, yeah sweet on that definitely got the uh the collector's tooth thing and if you would so let's check this out over here yeah this is amazing now i did see abernathy customs they ended up taking this head and put it on 383 so the um the venom body where eddie brock is turning into venom uh which is a super sick pop one of my favorites there is um, but they ended up taking this awesome head sculpt, the McFarlane head sculpt, and put it on the 383, which is super sick. Um, this is sick in itself right here. We have non-bobblehead Venom, so check that out if you didn't know. Uh, non-bobblehead Spider-Man 2, which is sweet. I guess technically it's a statue, I guess. That's how they skirt around the licensing thing because it is. he's not able to come off, so I guess he's technically not a figure. Same thing with Spider-Man. He's more of a fixture in this particular scene where he's getting just smashed and plummeled into the ground by Venom. Uh, in the actual comic, there's actually, uh, the, on the cover, there's actually blood dripping from his hand. So you can definitely tell that, like, Spider-Man is, like, badly damaged. But um, you can tell the Spider-Man face on this one is definitely that classic 90s Spider-Man face with those huge eyes which almost take up the entire face. And you can see him down there just kind of grasping for help just hoping that uh, venom just doesn't plumble him even more uh and he's a total full-on metallic as well uh venom is a full-on metallic there graphite you can see the white webbing on the back there i mean super super dope on that i mean even the ground here is metallic as well you can see the symbiotic slime creeping in all along the side here of this particular i guess you could say statue if you would or comic moment uh, this is a super, super, super sick, sick pop. This is definitely, definitely one of my favorite comic moments, if not my favorite comic moment. This actually made my top 10 this year um, of pops. I mean, you got to dig it. This is such a sick, sick comic moment. I mean, and the whole, the head sculpt for this Venom right here is freaking sweet. I mean, this is comic Venom right here. I mean, this is what I remember. McFarlane's Venom. I mean, he reigned supreme in the 90s. I mean, he's still reigning supreme right now with his comic uh, spawn definitely but uh yeah and he makes some pretty sweet figures too as you've seen we reviewed multiple on the channel here so um pretty sweet to see some mcfarlane stuff i mean fan of jim lee fan of mcfarlane and i've seen both those creators pieces come through the funko line over the past two years so it's been very nice to see that definitely somebody who's a fan of those um both particular art styles so it's very nice to see that in pop form as well so we got mcfarlane's take on Venom v Spider-Man because that's who uh, was the creator of it so there you go uh, here's the cover number 316 comic moment Venom just plummeling Spider-Man why don't you let me know down in the comments below what you think of this comic moment what do you think of comic moments in general are the boxes too big are they something that you don't really like to collect because of the size of the boxes but if you do do you like to collect comic moments movie moments let me know down in the comments below which deluxe styles do you like best and if it is comic moments which one's your particular favorite because this one's mine and if you like this video give it a thumbs up want more content like this subscribe for more because i do reviews every single day so we'll go for that and have a great rest of your day